Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you what, in my opinion, is the best video editor for small YouTube channels, for new YouTube channels, and for those of you that don't want to spend big bucks on an editor. It is called CapCut. Now, there are multiple different CapCut editors. This is the online editor, the web browser editor. The reason why I'm choosing this one is because you don't have to install anything, and it's free. So let's go. You go to CapCut.com. There's the link. Click on Continue. Oops, I'm going to click on Continue as Curtis. I have a free account. I, there is an upgraded pro account, but I don't pay for it. I have the free version. And once you do that, you'll see here that you're loaded in. Again, this is browser-based. That's what makes this so cool. Now, on the left side here is where you want to basically work with. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New. And then underneath Video, you're going to see 16 by 9. That is the standard... Uh, basically the standard YouTube size. If you're doing shorts, it's 9 by 16 and Instagram can be those little squares. But let's go 16 by 9. I'm going to click on it. It's going to open up a new tab and now we're cooking. Now, over here on the left side, I can't. this is unbelievably easy to use. You're going to see here I've got a whole bunch of videos and images and all that stuff loaded here. I've already used it. I use this program like I honestly do. Um, this isn't a paid uh, sponsorship, but all you need to do to add in your own content, you can go into Finder or Windows Explorer if you're on a PC. I've got, I don't know, let's grab one of my movies here. Let's get this one. I'm just going to drag and drop it, and look at that. All you got to do is just drop it there, and it will add it to the top of the stack. To add it to the timeline, to edit it, it is one click, literally. I just clicked on it, and presto, there is my ugly bearded face. I'm happy to say I have cut off that weird-looking, fuzzy, uh, homeless beard that I got there. And then, bang, I want to listen to what I got here. Watch this. Oh, yeah, what's up, guy? Boom. Done. Now, if this was perfect, I could just go here and hit export. But, again, there's a whole bunch of stuff at the beginning where I'm not talking. So I'm just going to edit that out. So there it is. So once my face starts moving, there we go, somewhere around there. I'm just going to grab this little handle here. You'll see it at the bottom left here. And I'm going to pull it. And then presto. I let go, and it has slip edited it for me. So here's what happens. Now when I hit play, watch this. Oh, yeah, what's up, guy? We got rid of the basically the space where there was no talking. Now, in some cases, that's all you need to do to edit. I'm going to skip forward through it and watch this. All right, watch this. So right here, I stopped talking. So I'm going to grab the other handle, and I'm just going to edit it, and presto, it is done. Now, that's not all. If you need to change the audio, you just go over here to the audio button. Now, in this case, the volume is good, but if it was too quiet, I could increase it just like that. If, I, if it's too loud, I can decrease it just like that. It's literally just drag and slip and nothing to this. It's absolutely extremely easy to use. Now... You can do more things, a lot more things, but that is the basics. But let's go over here to the left side. So we've uploaded a video, we've edited it. Let's go ahead and see what kind of, well, let's see what kind of templates they've got. Watch this. They're inside of uh, CapCut here. There are all these templates. Now, some of them are free, some of them are paid for. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just select on, I don't know, let's click on Editor's Picks. And then look at this. Look at all these amazing templates. So I'll move the playhead to the end here. And then let's say I like this one. I like that one for reasons you know what I'm talking about. But I want to add in a template. Now, you can scroll through all of these. Maybe I want a burger picture. I don't know. Maybe I want this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's do this one here. This one looks kind of cool. I'll click on it. Watch that. It's now adding that template to the end of it. So here we go. All right. Watch here this. Here we go. Done. Now, it's too loud. What do we do? We go ahead and click out here. I'm just going to go ahead and... See that? You see I can edit it here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to click out. And then over on the right, left side, let's go here again. So I click on that. I'm going to go back over here. I can make changes to it. So I don't know if I want to change the audio, let's say. Let's go ahead and click right-click on it. And now we're going to separate the audio. So this is another option. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger right here. I'll just increase the size so you can see this a little bit better. Look at that. I went ahead and clicked out. I right-clicked on it, separated out the audio. Now I can go ahead and adjust that. So if I want to change the volume, again, it was too loud, so I'm going to change it way down. And literally, here we go. 
I changed the audio on that. I just one click added that template at the end. I'll just delete it just to show you how it's done. If you want to add in some stuff over top of your video, you can go to elements and I don't know, maybe I want, let's see what we got here. We got photos, AI characters, stickers. I like the sticker subscribe Lance trailer done. It was one click. It's free. It's literally that crazy easy. I love this program because it's so easy to use. And again, it's free. If I want to go over here and I want to add, I don't know, let's see what their other stickers are. They got, they've got arrows. Let's click and add an arrow there. We've got an arrow pointing to my face. I'm going to turn it. So it's pointing to me maybe. And let's see what happens. It's got some Jesus. That's all there is to it. So there you go, guys. Those are just other things here. You can add icons. You can add in all these other things. If you see the pro thing beside it here in the top left, that means it's a paid for thing. So if you want to get the paid program, go ahead and do that. I believe it's eleven dollars and forty nine cents U.S. a month right now. So, you know, it's it's not free. If you want to add in your own music, go ahead on the left side. I clicked on audio. Look, we got all this music. Maybe I want to add in sunrise. I don't know. Let's click on it. There we go. I like it. I'm just going to drag it underneath here. And look at that. Oh, yeah, okay? Audio is added. Now, if you want to export and you want to use it as is, you can go ahead and click on the export button here. And then it allows you to download it. Just click on download and it's done. Now, if you want to add in multiple videos, maybe, like let's say I've got, I don't know, I've got this free button here. I'm going to put that at the end there. And then I've got another one here. I've got retro film at the end there. I'm just throwing them in here just to show you how it works. So I can add that on top or I can add it at the end. And literally that's it. The last thing I will show you here is effects. So if you want to add in some weird, cool special effects. Now, if I look at these, uh, let's look at trending ones. Why not? We've got flickery. We've got edge glow. We've got shake. Let's add in a shake effect. Here we go. Watch this. Guys, it's Chris Pi Ah. It's free. The only ones that cost money are the pro. So there's shake effects, flash effects. If you're a premier pro user or an after effects user, a lot of people are coming over to CapCut because this just got so many things that are just drag and drop, drag and drop, pardon me, easy to use. Lastly, transitions are a big thing here. So if you want to add in a fancy transition, I don't know. Let's add in this bottom left one here. I just randomly select it. You'll see here I've selected it. I'm just dragging it right here. And it's going to add that transition in literally again, completely free. This is absolutely crazy. How many cool things are in here? Filters. It's got hundreds of free filters. If I'm, you know, let's look at my face here on this one here. I've got a, you know, regular filter. I want ocean eyes, whatever the heck that is. If I want to add in bad bunny, I want to add in a reindeer filter, whatever. I mean, they're all in there. Night scene. That would be cool. Uh, let's, oh, that's a pro one. But anyways, you'll see here if I want to add in the rainbow one or a neon one, these are all just hovering over them and it gives you a look at the effect right there. So there's just so many things here. Again, under elements, if you want to add in a photo, you want to upload your own stuff, drop it into the media templates. It's all here, guys. It's all free unless you want the really fancy stuff. This is an incredible free YouTube editor for new YouTubers.